Well, thanks for coming uh, on the record today, James. It's uh, good to be here with you. First question I wanted to ask was, Aussie's launched a new marketing campaign, national marketing campaign, and I believe it's one of the first times that John Simon's not featured in the campaign. I believe this could be one of the first times this is this has happened. Tell me a little bit about the uh, thought that went behind the new campaign. Throughout the years, John's been a focal point of the campaign, um, or otherwise. You know, sometimes he hasn't been in the campaign. Uh, certainly, moving forward, I mean, every business business evolves and takes new directions and so forth. And for us, it was time to evolve the brand. It's been 25 years. Realign John, still continuing as the statesman of the business, and make sure that the customer and the broker were the champions within the advertising. And as you'll see within our new TV commercials, it's the consumer and the broker standing side by side, articulating as best we can what the mortgage brokers do to the public out there. And so far, it's working extremely well. Aussie's obviously well regarded in the industry, probably one of the biggest names, biggest brands in the mortgage broking industry, and in some ways is synonymous with mortgage broking. We've seen other big brands, uh, players in the industry sort of fall by the wayside, or maybe their brand's not as prominent as it was 20, you know, 15, 20 years ago, things like that. How is Aussie looking to maintain its relevance um, over, over the future, I guess? James, over the last 25 years, every five or six or seven years, Aussie's reinvented itself. It's to stay at the leading edge. We've reinvented ourselves, our brand, our people, our systems, our processes, and so forth. Uh, and we're doing that right now. In the last three years, since I've been the CEO of the group, we've basically looked at the business and said, how can we evolve to make sure that we're match fit for today's marketplace? And we've taken the business, and I liken it to a Grand Prix racing team, where you've got the pit crew and you've got the racing car drivers. And I've looked at the pit crew in the first 18 months of the three-year program, we've said, okay, how do we get this pit crew match fit? So by looking at repositioning and upgrading people, systems, processes, technology, um, even locations of where head offices are and so forth to make sure our people have a access to the finest tools. Uh, we've been doing a great job in making sure that um, we're fit for 2016. You know, a couple of simple examples of that is that we brought in our call centre. Our contact centre was outsourced. We brought it in so literally it's 60 steps from my office. I mean the customer is number one in our business and therefore having a contact centre that's built in uh, uh, the head office is really, really important to us. Uh, over the next 18 months, you'll start seeing us work on the racing car drivers, the brokers, and you'll start seeing it from the advertising we've just launched, and you'll start seeing new technology, you'll start seeing new distribution channels, you'll start seeing uh, better tools and services in which these brokers will have access to. So over the next 18 months, they've got all that to look forward to. So we're on a three-year program once again to reinvent Aussie to today's marketplace, and so far, it's working very, very well. So it's been 25 years since the business was started. Tell me some of the biggest milestones, the biggest turning points in the company over that time. We started with a promise of lower rates. We started with a promise of much, much better service. Um, so that was a given. I mean, when John started the business, um, it was a, uh, a very smart idea in regards to bringing securitization to the general public. It was a very smart idea of making so sure that uh, there was no discrimination between owner occupiers and investors. They're both the same. Um, so really, they were the foundations in which this business was built upon nearly 25 years ago, since I was 19 years of age, a long time ago. Since then, we've had some very large milestones. And look, a couple of those are really, really milestones in which we took a leap of faith, you know, led by John. Uh, one of them was being you know, turning ourselves from a non-bank lender into a mortgage broker mm -hmm. in 2003, making sure that our brand, which had a huge bark, but a much smaller bite, bite than we would like, had access to more consumers with the right proposition. And then 2005, when we launched our first retail store, you know, it was only just over 10 years ago, we didn't have a retail store. Today we have 205 retail stores as another sales channel for Aussie. So this is all part of a business that today has loan book in excess of $70 billion and that's settling around $22 billion per year. So as part of it running a successful business, it's also sitting back and taking a look at the business to make sure that you have the right team around you, to make sure that they're following you closely on the journey and they're keeping up, that you just don't have people around for the last 20 years that haven't been able to evolve with you and take the business to the next level. James Simon, thanks very much. Thanks very much, James.